Education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change their world. Worldwide, children out of education reached 121 million as of the beginning of 2014. Nearly 1 billion people entered the 21st century unable to read a book or write their names. In the majority of developing countries we've researched, twice as many girls over the age of 15 are illiterate compared to boys. Women make up 70% of the world's 1 billion poorest people. For the millions of women living in poverty, their lives are a story of discrimination, injustice, and struggling to achieve safe childbirth, education, and employment. Over the past 40 years, more agreements and action plans have been written in the hope of ending discrimination of gender in education throughout the world. The aim of these agreements is to eliminate gender discrimination. One important agreement was the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination. This was signed by many countries, which also made more people aware of the situation. Many other agreements were also signed as part of the new century in 2000. However, it cannot go unnoticed that charities and organisations such as UNICEF work tirelessly to make an impact today on education. Here in the UK, girls get the privilege of going to school every day for free, whereas the few children who go to schools in South Africa have to pay for school where they are placed in oversized classes. In Kenya, primary schools are free, but 4 in 10 children tend to drop out of school before they even start high school because their families are so poor they need to help work for them in order to earn more money. As well as this, girls tend to drop out of school even more because in Kenya, girls often get married very young, at 12 to 14 years of age. In the UK, girls stay in school for much longer because there are no forced marriages and they are encouraged to stay in education for as long as possible. Girls who get educated are less likely to be forced into a marriage because they are more likely to get a job that they can live off and get married eventually later on in their life. Simply being educated can completely turn girls' lives around across the world. If they're educated, they'll be able to learn to become more independent. They'll be able to have a career so they'll become more financially stable and won't have to rely on men all the time. Through education, girls will have the opportunity to pursue any profession they choose. This will possibly boost the number of engineers, politicians and doctors which will benefit the country hugely in terms of economics and will allow women's voices to be heard. But most of all, education will promote gender equality. The next generation will learn to support the idea of gender equality to provide a brighter future for girls everywhere. There are two types of charities. One focuses on presenting raised money to other countries and the other gives specific resources. You might describe a charity that just gives money as short-term aid because this money may not be spent wisely and is sure to run out quickly. If the charity gives specific resources that are usually carefully, carefully thought out and planned, they are thought of as long-term aid and are installed or given to help the country develop. This relates to the need for charities not to give countries money because even though we may wish for the money to be spent on education for both genders, it is likely not to be spent on that. Firstly, charities not only need to make less developed countries aware of their situation, but educate them on how giving their citizens a fair education system would actually benefit them more. Secondly, we strongly believe this kind of ch charity action is the way forward. Childhood choices changes.